We are on HTML number two. This is going to be talking about the basics. Okay, so HTML is a markup language used to build websites as well as how you're going to learn later. You could also use the websites to put them inside a wrapper or a web kit in order to do uh, mobile platform game uh, games or apps. So it is very, very, very important language. Um, this is mainly describing the information on the page and CSS is cascading style sheet which is layout so we'll go over that a little bit later when you have more idea of how HTML works so here just enter in what you see here as I'm talking into your program because this is what came out by default and this is how you uh, this is the basic setup for for uh, an uh, H for an HTML document Okay, so uh, there's these things called tags in HTML, and these tags are what you have here. So this is a tag, and this is a tag. But in this case here, you see here's a opening tag, and here's a closing tag. So it's saying whatever's in between these two tags are what is inside the head. And then you have the title, and the title is what comes up on the top and things like that so and here is a body and in the body we have nothing so let's go ahead and enter in a P and then a closing P so and then we're going to say so this is going to be uh, talking a little bit about this and doing our first hello world which is of course a tradition for people learning a language or markup language uh, for programmers the hello world so uh, a body element is the is the first element that we're going to create here and it's shown inside the main browser window so this is what sh is shown inside and then the head is basically what's um, up top is what is not rendered so example is that when you look at a browser window when it has at the top gray bar it'll say something there it'll say YouTube or whatever that's what this title is here and then the, the title like I said is what's shown above and you could also have things that are called attributes so this is a um, you could have attributes which is basically pretty straightforward you could have something like here in P you could have um, sorry about that lang equals e n u s and that this here is the attribute name and this is the attribute value so basically what that is explaining is that whatever is inside this p this paragraph which you'll figure out later is written in english united states language so that's uh, better off if uh it's for accessibility so if people have um, you know reading disabilities or can't see or whatever uh, it, it will it will add extra um, emphasis to uh, screen readers and things like that for people that cannot see and need the information read to them alright so um, what we're going to try here is uh, first as you can see here we always have a opening and closing so here's an opening and closing and then we'll go ahead and indent this here and don't if you're using Optana which is I would highly suggest um, this is gonna be all beautifully formatted by the Eclipse toolkit so it will be very very nice looking and uh, but you could see here how I'm going to do it is basically every time that you see a head or like a body or something like that indent what's inside there so it kind of gives you this tiering type and you see here that these heads that the heads line up and the bodies line up and the HTMLs line up so now in between these bracket in between these tags here so here's the the uh, um, le the greater than the less than symbol and here's the greater than symbol you could write something in between and you do not need to put quotes around it quotes are only to do an attribute value so for example we're gonna say hello world and now when you click in this one it's gonna say hello world and notice that it did not say the title 
because the title would be what you would see up in the bar, up in a, the top bar. So it would be something like this thing right here. It would be up in there. So here, that's the Hello World program. And very simple, you can see how I highlight it here, and it highlights there. So that's the Hello World. Actually, I need to probably turn on the live. Actually, let's not turn on the live so you can see it. So this is the Hello World. And uh, let's say that we did a, another P or something like that. Um, and then we're also going to do a, a little one here where we're going to do a header. So that will be this. Tab that overhead one. And then we're going to close it. It's going to close the head one. And then, like I said, whatever you put in between the tags is what's going to write. So we're going to say beginning hello world program. So there you can see that the header is in bold. That is a standard. And we're going to talk a little bit about what that is. And just in case you were wondering what HTML stands for, it's Hypertext Markup Language. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go over a lot of tags and values. And that will give you an idea because this a huge thing that I've noticed as well with this language is you're not going to get it by reading a book. You're going to get it by practicing with these tutorials here. And it gives me more practice myself, makes me better, makes you better. It's all good. Um, so I'll try to give you as much information that I could find and that I know to become better at HTML because it is pretty big. I mean, you could do apps, you could do web, you could do all different kinds of stuff with this guy. And uh, so it is a huge language and it is very cool to know and very good to know. But it also become, becomes, you know, it could get so huge that you need so many extra things so many extra languages on top like JavaScript, CSS, PHP, Python, um, SQL to be storing stuff and things like that. So we're going to go over quite a bit of other things in here and next is going to be talking about you know text and what exactly these here mean and going over um, more things that you should know and uh, we'll get started. So this is uh, kicking it off and more things to come. So this has been Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials, and this is beginning HTML2, two, uh, two, which is uh, the beginnings, I guess you could call it, and uh, or the basics. And please subscribe to get videos from this series and other series like it. And stay tuned for the next video in this series or the next video in my other series. And I thank you for watching, and take it easy.